speak for about 10 minutes and then we'll open it uh, to some questions as, as I'm sure you have. Um, let me ask you this first. The reception to this show in Israel was like nothing I've ever seen. People went crazy. Yeah. Tell, tell me about that. Why do you think it did? It? Well, you're, you're totally right, first of all. Um, I was surprised as well. I mean, I know the series is a really, really good thing and a good story, but I, was, I wasn't shocked as much as you were. And... Um, why? Because I think um, this story touches the heart, like every heart in Israel. Um, if it's like the, the of course, the, the men that you know they were soldiers, and um, their friends, their mothers, their sisters, like it's it's, it's everywhere. And I think uh, it's written really, really good. And you know the actors, you know. Uh, and they're doing their job. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you think something has to do with, with uh, the recognition, which is beginning to kind of open up in recent years in Israel, uh, that you know uh, PTSD is a real thing, this post-traumatic stress disorder that people are just coming to terms with? Exactly. I think the serious gave um, the soldiers, people, the, the PTSD uh, people, the, the experience that um, it gave them hope. <laughs> And I think it gave them the stage and to just talk about it and to not be shy about it and to express themselves. And I know that in Israel, tons of people just keep reacting to this series. Like, I think it helped them a lot. And that's, I think that's the magic and oh, this, this uh, specific thing. And um, I, I mean, I'm still, I'm still in shock from, you know, because my heart's still beating so fast. <laughs> I'm trying to stay cool and to relax, but it's so hard. And you know how it ends. I do. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm just a ghost here um but yeah it's freaking i i i'm still sh i i you know when i shoot this series we were shooting in colombia and in israel and i took it it was it was really 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 intense to me uh to, to play this role uh you guys i don't know how many of you saw this the, the whole oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, I don't know yeah, what you're going to do tonight. You're just going to go home and be like, well, how does this end? <laughs> to be honest, for me, it was really, really hard to see it again today. Really. I was like, my God, I can't believe I'm going to see it again. I need to like to prepare myself and to be ready and to, yeah. It's 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 hard. Seriously. And I play, I mean, I was there, but still, for me to see it again, to experience it, it's, it's hard. It brings back the emotional and the Yeah, feeling. totally. So I want to talk a little bit about how you prepared for this role. I, I saw on a TV interview given in Israel that you said that to prepare for this role, you had watched National Geographic documentaries, nature documentaries. Yeah, yeah. Why? Well, <laughs> you want me to tell the story for the rest of the audience here? Absolutely. No, I'm sorry. Oh, no, not the story I, of the show, but just the story well, of the emotional... Yeah, we're not going to ruin I, I, I saw a lot of, like, uh, National Geographic, like the, the tiger um, thing. Um, that's everything that I can say about it. 
uh, it is, however, very evident when, when you do see the rest of the shows, you will very soon, uh, that there is that there's sort of like an animal intensity to this character. Please stop. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not going to say anymore. I promise. No, you have uh, to stop. And so I just want to know, how do you come down from, from, from acting this? I mean, because you were on the set for, you know, some time. Do you unwind, or is it just months and months of just, like, being coiled up? When I read the script at the beginning, I was like, it was Saturday, I will never forget it. It was Saturday, and um, I just, uh, I printed uh, the whole uh, episode, and I just, I read it, and my heart just, I was like, my husband is here, he can, he can testify. Thank you, baby. Uh, cool. I was like, no, no way, no way. Oh my God, oh my God, no way. seriously. And then when I shot the, the whole, like, the whole series, I was like, no, no way, oh my god, oh my god, I, I can't do it. Either. Yeah, it was very, very, very much intense, and um, I just, I, I decided, once I decided to take this role, I was like, okay, I'm going to do it the best way I can, I hope I'm going to tell you every story um, the best way I can, from, from my eyes, and her eyes, of course. And sometimes it was really hard for me to find the, 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 the boundaries, you know, between me and her. It was really um, confusing. And it took me a while. When I got home from Colombia, uh, it took me a while to snap out of it and to, to go back to my life, because it was really hard for me. On set, are you like Daniel Day-Lewis? Are you one of these character actors? Yeah. People only call you Yaeli on set, where you totally yeah. Yeah. They call Yeah, they call me Yaeli. Yeah. Because I was, I was Yaeli. When I get back to my, when I got back to my room uh, in Colombia, we were sitting in the middle. Oh shit. Uh, I can't, I'm sorry. You, I told you to stop. I'm like, I'm talking and all, talking all and like thoughts. revealing the story and I can't do that, you know? So, uh, just watch it. <laughs> That's what I can say. I'm glad to see that you recovered from the PTSD of playing this part, because it, it seems totally intense. Um, let me ask you one last question about this and then I want to I want to ask some questions about the, uh, the show's coming to America. Um, you're originally a singer. Is it a very different energy uh, that you bring to acting as, as you do to music, or do you borrow things from that? Because it, it seems like to be in this particular role, you really kind of have to sink into it. Was there a part of you that was lost and then had to be rediscovered? Did doing this role make you want to act more again as opposed to sing more? First of all, yes. Uh, this part just opened my heart for acting again. And I believe that every form of art where you can express yourself, um, I feel like I'm really, really blessed to have the option to express myself through this amazing show, and of course, through music. Um, and um, yeah, it's like, it's, you have to be in a certain way, in a certain mode, just to, to, to give everything you've got. And once I decided to go and to do and to play this role, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be Yaeli now, and I'm gonna listen to music that Yaeli is listening to. And yeah, it was like a long process, and I'm so glad I did it. What's Yaeli listening to? Very sad. Very Oh yeah. El Bana, very sad. Oh, Messiah Yeah. And sounds exactly right. Um, so, to the surprise of no one, uh, the show just won uh, the best show prize at the Cannes Series Festival uh, and uh, was prominent. Yes, thank you. Uh, and was immediately purchased uh, for distribution or, uh, as yeah, Isaac said before, for remake uh, in America. So, I have a few questions about that. First of all, do you think an American audience? Would, could understand the essence of this thing, the, the real trauma. The, I mean, the, the scene in the funeral here, I, I've watched it again and again, it, it's still, it's impossible to watch. I mean, tearing up. Do you think it will translate what? I do, because I believe that every one of us has a soul, right? Uh, one hopes. Yeah, and a heart, and I think that everyone uh, in the entire world can relate to this story. Um, because it's so emotional and it's so hard and it's so difficult and I'm, I mean, I mean, unfortunately, I, I, I know that uh, uh, you know people um, in the the entire world uh, have lost, like you know, um, their brother, their, and there's a war everywhere. 
So yeah, I believe that this story can actually heal. That's that's my belief. So yeah. What do you think it is about Israeli TV? Because you know, with with Fauda and Hatufina, there's so many shows uh, make their way. What Israeli people is? are very talented. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that obvious? I, I believe it is. Look at this show. And so, uh, before we turn it off to the audience, there's really just one question remains to ask. Are, are you going to star in the American version of this? Because it has really? Yes. What? It has to um, be the case. No. If you say so, I mean, I yes. So. I'm here, I'm ready, take me. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, your congressman demands <laughs> demand this. Uh, are, are you going to be involved in, it in any way? Are you curious about it? or? Is it to you just something that happens in Israel? And I'm curious and I'm going to be involved, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's exactly what we wanted to hear. Exactly. And so now we have time for a few questions. Uh, you're free to speak them loudly and I will repeat them. Let's start right here. Oh, we have microphones. <laughs> Hi. First of all, I know you as an amazing singer. And now I know you as an amazing actress. You shot me too. Thank you. I think the most important thing that this show did is to put this uh, matter, um, PTSD, the PTSD, yes, yes. of course, uh, prime time. Listen, it, 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 it beat the, the um, Big Brother on the other channel, and that never happened before yes. because it's a huge thing. And I'm a sister of a um, my brother is PTSD, exactly. yeah, from I don't know, first of all. So it was so important for us, for his friends. I'm shaking. You can't even believe. I don't know if it healed him because it's a um, journey. But it did something to me. And I saw the first chapter five times because I couldn't see the first, all the first, of the beginning. It was so intense, as you said. I wanted to ask, um, I saw Yaeli as a symbol. Yeah. And um, not only as a, like a character, like Yaeli, the, the girl that they are looking for. Because each and every one of them was looking for himself. Exactly. So Yaeli wasn't just Yaeli, it was Yaeli for, for, uh, for every one of them. There is a different year Eddie. So exactly. how did you approach it? It's like it's crazy. It's I not just the I don't know. You know, it took me a long time to to uh, to realize what we did we did um, while we were shooting this uh, this this amazing series really and um, I think that for them their journey is to really find maybe first first of all to deal with their demons with their fears and on their way to Yaeli they discovered and they maybe started to heal themselves I mean really I don't want to ruin it and I don't want to tell the, the, the rest of the story but it's a long journey it's a long journey and and Yaeli um, as you said she just she's she, she playing something for each and every one of them and only the director he always told me well when I was playing and and uh, he always said Yaeli is their lighthouse don't forget that she's she's their sunshine she's their moon she's their their light, but it's on their way to themselves, not to her. I mean, to her, you know, literally, but also figuratively, like you know, in terms of their journey and their their search for for um, um, like um, Israel is for the soldier. Yes. Yes. You know. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, One up up here. I don't need my thanks. Just when is it being released? Those of us who don't speak Hebrew, so we can see the show. Anybody know? Is it, is it a deal with Netflix, or what is the connection? You're the phobist, so I'm just wondering what is going on, how, when do we get to see it? Um, well, <laughs> you will know soon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so many mysteries. Is it, would they take, would Kesha take advantage of the... Plane. Do you work in cash? <laughs> oh, okay. I just don't understand why there is more information since it, since it won the award. I think you will, you will, I promise you, what's your name? David. David? 
Okay, so I promise you, you will know very soon, and I think you will be able to see the whole show. Too. <laughs> Let's say we don't give you any good news. Yes. Um, I wanted to ask. Um, it's kind of a two-part question, but I notice a lot of Israeli TV is very realistic. We don't have much sci-fi, fantasy. Why do you think that is, and what is your dream role? Well, Israel is a fantasy in a way. So do you think we need more stories? <laughs> we have so many good stories. Why to, to, to live in like, you know, Wonderland? This is a Wonderland, right? I, I think, I don't know. Yeah, did I answer your question? The second part was, what is your dream role? My dream role? Mm -hmm. uh, you can just watch it. <laughs> that, that was a part of my dream role. Um, well, I wanted to be honest. I want to play more spot for <laughs> No, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a part of my dream, but, but yeah, I have a lot, lots of dreams. Uh, I mean, do you have like four hours to say here? Do you want all that? No, yeah, we'll talk about it, of course. Uh, we have time for one more question. Anyone? In that case, uh, I want to, oh, one more? Okay, yeah. Hi. I wanted to ask, what was the thing about Yael that you related to the most? What compelled you to do this? When you read the script, did you told yourself, I want to do this part? What about her, her character, compelled you to do it? Well, my first intuition was that I really wanted to save them, the guys. Um, but it wasn't me that, that saved them, it was them. But at the beginning, I just felt like my heart just, just it was in so much pain, and um, I just said to myself, "I wanna, I wanna do this. I wanna tell the every story. I wanna, I wanna like take their soul and 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 give them light or something. I wanted to give, and that's the first the first um, thing that I felt while I was reading the script. I just wanted to give." And then I talked to Omri, uh, Skyping from LA to Israel, and I told him, listen, man, I'm, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I want to do it, but I'm afraid. And he said, good. You are on board. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I am. Cool. This is how it was. Yeah. And on that happy note, I want to thank JCC for hosting us tonight. The IOT for, for amazing work. I don't want to know when you met.